What is up guys and welcome that I didn't do the signature clap here. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is episode number two of building the perfect WRX, at least daily driving WRX. This is gonna be so exciting. So we have a special video for you guys. Once again, huge thank you to Extreme Turbo Systems for being a part of the WRX build. We are so excited. If you guys didn't see episode one, definitely go check that out. We did the Extreme Turbo Systems cat back exhaust and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. But in today's video, we might have some rustled jimmies. Now you guys can get mad at Tim for this. This is this is 110% Tim. You can't be mad at this. You guys, look, if there's any rustled jimmies out there, be rustled at Tim, okay? But I'm actually pretty excited for this. I've, well, number one, I've never had a Subaru with an EJ in it, so getting to build this car with Tim is pretty awesome. Number two, also never had a car with an EJ and, Oh, these are nice, brother. But, these are nice. But the iconic Scooby Rumble is what you like, right? That's what I like. And today, we're getting rid of it. Rid of that. We have the ETS equal length headers. Man, dude, these things are freaking sick. Look at this build quality. Super nice. Whoa. This is absolutely nuts. Look at, Look at this, guys. They're really this nice. This thing is beautiful. Today, we are installing some equal length headers on the WXL. This is going to absolutely change everything about oh, yeah. the car or at least the way that it sounds so i'm very excited tim will you check that bag and see if we have gaskets for these and nice we have the gaskets we're gonna go ahead and get started installing this guy uh it should be fairly easy i hope granted uh this car has some rusty rusty bolts and hopefully we can reuse the gaskets to the block but without further ado let's go ahead and get started installing this thing. First things first, we have to deal with getting all of these rusty heat shield bolts out, and this one is already stripped. Tim, thankfully, you want to show them the tool, Tim? We actually bought these, what, like five years ago? Yeah, when Dustin um, had a bolt on his brand new car that needed extractor set. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the only reason I have this is because of Dustin. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Full circle, guys. So we're gonna use that and try and get all of these bolts off before we can remove this header. Thankfully, it's in a very easy and accessible spot. So once we get all the bolts out, it really shouldn't be that bad. So we're gonna send it. That is crusty, dude. Oh. Oh, hey, these actually aren't that bad. No, they they're, look fairly new. Yeah, it looks like somebody might have replaced the gaskets that go to the block from the header here. Not too bad, not too bad. It's this heavy girl. Hey, stock header. This Look how freaking small this thing is, dude. I told you. This is gonna be a massive, <laughs> massive upgrade for the WRX, dude. I'm so excited to hear what this sounds like. It's gonna sound amazing, I think. I'm stoked. Second gasket here, not too bad. Just so you guys can see the difference between stock headers versus the ETS. Look how beautiful these ETS headers are versus what just came out of the car. It's just like, it's gross. This is a gross piece. Now we have nice brand new equal length headers to go into the WX. And Tim is cleaning up the old gaskets that we will be reusing here. Not too bad, right? No. I do have gasket spray to put on there. Um, I have spray copper gasket spray. That's what I've always used on these to reseal them. And I've never had a problem. Okay, well, we're gonna send it. What do we got here? What do we have here? Oh! <laughs> Okay, we went ahead and cleaned up the area where the old header was. So it's a very it's very nice underneath the block. We're gonna go ahead and lift up the equal length header. I'm gonna screw these on and I mean we're I need pretty to gaskets. 
and ga gaskets. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna take a quick intermission in today's video to give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Meguiar's. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Ultimate Leather Detailer. The Ultimate Leather Detailer provides a quick and easy solution to maintain your leather's look and feel. Powerful cleaning ingredients safely removes dirt and grime to restore leather's natural appearance. Aloe and rich conditioning agents provide a soft feel and look. UV blockers and protective polymers work together to keep your leather protected. The result is clean, nourished, and protected leather that's a deep, rich satin gloss, making your leather look its best. We've been using this a ton in the WRX to clean our leather and all of the other cars actually as well. If you guys wanna try this out for yourselves, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to this down in the description box below for you guys. All right, let's get back into the video. Good design, ETS. Each bolt is reachable with a gun. Look at that, Tim. So it is installed, it looks amazing. We do need to bolt up this part where it goes to the up pipe, but other than that, this thing's ready to go. header is installed now the moment of truth what is this car gonna sound like I am personally so excited now we can't rip on it too hard but we are gonna do a couple flybys and get some sound tests because I'm just too excited for this and everybody to finish off our header install we have a special guest oh hi crispy media aka hi. Crispy, aka Chris Petruccio. Yeah. So one time, everybody, what's going on? What are you doing here? What's happening? Uh, we heard you were starting this WRX for the first time, so we wanted to come by. So we, we got in our <laughs> car uh, and we drove from New York to San Diego to get this, get this starting for the first time. Wow. Yeah, so we're really excited for Tim. Um, it's a big moment. Uh, so we figured we, did, we would just take our 700 horsepower legacy in my minivan and a crew full of people and drive across the country to come here to start up. Get you, a, get you a friend like Chris. I'm excited for you guys, yeah. <laughs> no, for real, Chris is doing a cross country mm -hmm. road trip and documenting the whole thing. It's a super tight. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing some filming today and I figured we would take you guys along once we get done with this header install. So it'll be a lot of fun. We're gonna be shooting the, are we shooting the GTR today? We're shooting the R35 today. We haven't shot that yet. Yeah, that'll be nice. I'm excited. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. So uh, we're almost finished up with this header. We're gonna do the first start and we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Are we doing this thing, Tim? Are we doing the first start right now? Yeah, let me put it up, but uh, yeah. Okay, so we are gonna do a leak test, of course, but now is the official first start. Hey, grab the, you take the camera and okay. yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm ready. To be honest, it doesn't sound that much different than I thought. No, like it still has a little bitty rumble. Yeah. But I like it better. Let's go see. Let's it's better for the car. Just a little block party out here. Dude, that sounds really good, Tim. All right, Tim, you wanna give us a little baby pulse of the car? doesn't really know what to do with all of the air that the header gives it, so it is like dying on us when we go higher in the RPMs and let it fall. And but I, I broke the sensor. Tim accidentally broke the, the O2 sensor. It's, it's fine, it's okay, but we can do little baby pulls and hear how it sounds. Wanna give it, Tim? Yeah. Little baby guy. It's way more responsive, I'll tell you that. Just, is it? Just by the little bit that we did, it's way more responsive. Let's do some I think it sounds really good.
You know, I used to have a Forester and it had equal lengths, but I think this sounds better. Uh, the construction of this header is way better than what I had, but I think it sounds really good. What do you think? That sounds really good. What do you yeah, think? Bro? I really love it. It's. I think it's a little bit quieter. Yeah, it is does it a little sound bit quieter? quieter. Very strange. Yeah, it sounds a lot quieter than it was. What do you think about it on the outside, though? That sounds really good. Um, I, you know, I'm used to that sound because my Forester had equal lengths. Oh, true, true. Um, but you can kind of still hear a rumble. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Sounds good, dude. It that definitely is more. It's yeah. more responsive for yeah. sure. Oh boy, before we go ahead and film the GTR, we are gonna get a ride and possibly drive Crispy's freaking legacy. Chris, Crispy. you. Crispy! <laughs> Media! Wanna give us a rundown of what's all going on here, Chris? Yeah, so we Prius swapped uh, a legacy wagon for SEMA last year. Uh, it's really quiet. Uh, <laughs> but no, this is my 683 horsepower legacy GT wagon. Uh, we premiered it at SEMA last year. It's got a full Alcantara interior. It's got uh, custom carbon fiber for carbon fiber on the interior. Um, house colors, paint job, uh, JDM kit and everything and all type of good stuff. And oh also a big God. boy uh, Garrett GTX 3576 turbo sitting up here and pretty in the front. An IG block, uh, IG stays for heads, magnum block, AMS intake manifold, vibrant everything, chase bays, everything, Cobb E85 flex fuel. So we'll have a little bit of fun there. Um, but yeah, we're pushing 685, 683 on E85, which is awesome. Um, and it's gotten up to like 41 pounds of boost so far this trip, and it's still holding together. Oh, you just blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got about negative eight degrees of camber at ride height. Wow. So. Hey, do you wanna yeah. uh, maybe, you wanna... maybe tomorrow? Go for a ride, dude. I'm excited. Oh man, even the interior on this thing is just Ooh. impeccable. You see that forged carbon, purple forged carbon fiber, baby? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> even this, this is freaking sick, dude. Oh, yeah, well, because Acura didn't have like a remote that has it in it, so Backriders makes a digigauge. So we had a custom mold to our piece right here. We 3D printed a housing right here, a DID interiors, custom printed to 3D housing, and we put our uh, digigauge in there so we can know all the pressures. Pretty cool. I'm mind blown. Pretty cool. spun all the all the wheels I felt it I mm -hmm. definitely did yeah that yeah. was incredible yeah <laughs> The spinning, the spin. Yeah, it's what happens when you have all-wheel drive and 700 horsepower. The spins, my dude. What? <laughs> all right, one more little, just a little guy. Yes, yeah, a little bit. Oh! 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 The spins. This is incredible. Wow. Tim. Tim. What are we doing? <laughs> Can we borrow your motor? <laughs> yeah, All right, guys, so we just finished up uh, driving in Chris's car. That was absolutely amazing. Now we are going to shoot the R35 for sunset, and it's going to be amazing. We have Chris 
in the minivan getting some awesome rollers you guys you guys can check all of this out uh, on Chris's channel, obviously. So I'm just gonna film some behind the scenes stuff and we start doing some of the standstill beauty shots. It's gonna be awesome. And of course, the, millenn the Millennium Jade in Sunset always looks amazing. To end it all today, Chris. Yes. His Subi, very, very nice. <laughs> and my Subi. What a great Also way. very nice. Also very nice. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> you should have a little bits and pieces, but <laughs> to end today, we had to get both of the cars together. And it looks incredible. To end our day, I had to take Crispy and the entire crew to one of our favorite places by the shop. We're at Ballast Point. They always have really nice beer. We all got food. Let's do a cheers to Crispy Cross Country and the whole team for making it happen. Cheers. Cheers. Coming, guys. No, thank, thank you. you.